Alright, we've got Shadow Fury 333 versus Matex. Shadow oh, Fury. Can you uh, start, uh, start a screen on uh, Discord as well? So oh, I can yeah, see yeah. the as well. Yeah, yeah uh, I forgot. Uh, Where's the screen? Uh, yeah. Alright, we have Matex on the Ryra Hanoka versus Shadow Fury on the Talia Karunu. Uh, I think moles are starting. Um, um, so yeah, looks like Shadow Fury mold one. Uh, I'm not really sure how many Matex molds. It's not a huge deal. Why are his taros on the board? Okay. Um, yeah, let's see what happens here. And it looks like. Um, Shadow Fury's first. Is he running black box? What is he running? Is he running the same thing he ran last time? Oh no, he's not. Oh, whoa, this is odd. What the hell is he running? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So, the thing that intrigues me about, so, Shadow Fury's running a freeze deck, which is fine, but if you're running a freeze deck, it's very odd to not run Upastum. Um, usually if you're gonna run Poor Pachow, or Poor Pachow, Poor Poruchar, no, uh, Poruchar, then Poruchar Toll, then you usually want to run Upasum because it synergizes really well. Um, I think one of these two should have been swapped out um, for that. But also, no Blade Dance, which is very odd. Uh, which is uh, Karunu's yeah. strongest attack. Um, one of the strongest attacks in the game, in my opinion. Um, yeah, one second. I'll be right back. And then I'm pretty fuck with Corona today. <laughs> oh, or maybe yesterday on your time zone, I'm not sure. Um, Talia trying to close the gap. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, so it looks like if I feel like. Mm -hmm. They're both kind of running semi-aggressive decks. Let's see what Matex is running. Yeah, he's got, uh, this, he's got the Ryra stuff. Some gap clues. But I think Matex is trying to evolve the the Honoka to the to her final form, like the the one to four no reaction throughout one. Yeah, looks like he's gonna just pump wind as well for his wind BC vocation. Um, yeah. With sessions, apa session turns again, that will fastly pump the wind. Oh, he doesn't bring he's the. He's not running it. Oh, interesting. He's running feelings in your heart, which is, oh. as you said, the spirit right. I thought that something that must be run if you play Honoga, because that way you can recycle your deck pretty fast and you can. Transform your Honoka to the final form pretty fast. Yeah, I'm not sure. He's not opting for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, see, like right here would have been like it's such a decent blade dance, right? But um, did he only draw one card? Oh, okay. I uh, he, he draw from this card. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, but now this is really awkward. I mean, he can kind of open him up a little bit, right? He can go for the 2-1, open him up, go f Frostbite, like Ice Shards or something. I don't know. Like, this is so awkward. I really wish he would have ran Upastum here. Like, this is what makes, like, Karunu, like, a really good Freeze character, specifically the Upastum. Uh, and can you share what uh, Shadow Fury brings that uh, have Combust, maybe? Since uh, Talia transformation, it's all the uh, what its name? I forgot. the The machinery is burned, right? Uh, to transform, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, special. Yeah. Um. The black box. Yeah. I'm not sure how fast he can transform without that much compass and maneuver. 
But yeah, so now he's gonna freeze him for one. But I mean, it's, it's just not super impactful, I feel. He's gonna do ice shards. Um, the, thing, the nice thing about ice shards here, though, is no matter how he takes it, he's gonna be taking a, a, a freeze token. So even if he takes it to life, it still freezes. So that's um, pretty good news from Chad. Oh, here. yeah. He should definitely reshuffle. I mean, not reshuffle. He should definitely play ice shards here. Um, because if he plays ice shards here, then it allows him to... Oh, it looks like maybe the ordering might have been a little off as well. Maybe playing the ice shards first was better. Because now he's not in range. And now he can't play ice shards. Uh, it's very awkward. And now he's going to be forced to reshuffle it too. I think either playing the ice shards first or using that focus... Or either using that vigor to advance would have allowed him to play the ice shards. And... Um, Kind of made his hand a little bit cleaner, and then he could have gone into um, Steam Cannon next turn uh, if he wanted to, because he'd have three cards, which is the best time to play it throughout, because you won't have to discard any additional cards. Um, and tag. zero free card as well. All right, one one coming down. Ooh, takes it to life. Um, actually, oh. there wasn't a huge punish there. Um, I don't think... Yeah, there is no huge punish there. He just has the, um... Oh, it's a 2-1, right? Yeah, the 2-1 that recycles the attack, so... Um, nothing super huge there. Um, you might win run here, actually. Yeah. Win run and 2-1. Yeah, Beastile Claw. Sure, why not? Um, and then, yeah, the Beastile Claw, I'm assuming, is going to come down here. To recycle the, um... I don't know what he's going to recycle. Takes it to life. Very scared. I'm not exactly sure what he's playing around, but I'm sure there's something that I'm not missing. That I'm missing, I mean. Oh. This is just going all Matex right now. It's going to be very hard. He's going to um, start... Um, Shadow Fury is going to start his turn in R1, which doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of super great options. Um, disenchant. Pedal burns up. Uh... Talia can do pretty well in R1, R3, as long as it's an odd number, I think. But I think uh, Shadow of Re doesn't bring the special Talia one that uh, resurgence if you maneuver. Is, that, is he in range for that? I don't think he's in range for that. That's 2-3. Yeah, it's 2-3. He's just going to break away and do what I assume. Okay, No. we go. Aren't you going to tell him that you can retreat? Like, he just did. He paid oh, the vigor. He, yeah, he is, he, is, he is using the vigor, not, not retreating. It's backward what? movement. Yeah. yeah, break away. No, 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 no. He, he used the aura to move backward instead of from... The well, he's zero. allowed to. I mean, I can't, I can't yeah, stop him. But <laughs> I'm not sure if he You're allowed he realized, to do that. I mean, it's not breaking the rules. I'm only I'm, gonna say anything if he's breaking hmm. the rules, and using an aura to back up I is completely see. legal. If he wants to, like, cannot I stop. I'm him. just not sure if that. Well, it doesn't no. matter. I mean, I don't think he should have <laughs> played this card anyway. I mean, he locks up some freeze tokens, but he doesn't really have a lot of strong tools to attack, which is what kind of makes this whole thing sort of awkward. I mean, not yeah. running. He's not running any particularly strong attacks besides steam oh. cannon. No. And now, um, like, next turn he's going to steam forward. cannon. What? what? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, and never mind, never mind. There is uh, one Sakura, uh, one artificial token there. I didn't see that. So now he prays that his steam cannon lands, but if Matex honestly just holds on to his reaction, he can just knock the steam cannon, I'm pretty sure. And then he's just really doomed. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um... Uh, let's see. Yep. So, as long as he holds on to one card here, um, then uh, canceling the Steam Cannon will be very detrimental here to um, Shadow Fury. Also, I'm just a little confused overall of the Freeze. Usually you want to play the, um, the Freeze card um, when your opponent has two Aura or when they have less than two aura, so you can get three life. Anything higher than that, I don't feel like you get super good value. Um, 
in this situation it just felt like desperation to get some freeze down but even if you get a bunch of freeze down there's not really any follow-up see look yeah this is exactly what's going to happen right because now he's going to try to steam cannon him and he's going to cancel it frostbite's going to come off i mean he almost certainly has to steam cannon here i don't know what else he'd be looking for um did he not did he gain a vigor oh. did he gain a vigor at the start of his turn no 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 okay there we go yeah there we okay. go he got it now um yeah, the, I wasn't a huge fan of his special use there, because now on Matex's next turn, he's going to reshuffle, he's going to draw up, and he's probably just going to clear off a lot of this freeze. Transformation coming down, though. That's but I don't I don't believe he... Is it all of them gone? Wow. That's throw up. Oh, uh, well, that's also a problem. Um. Well, I think uh, the Megami that he does is also a complex one. Like, uh, even I, I just know about Koruno's mechanics, like freeze mechanic today. <laughs> and Talia is also a pretty complex Megami to play as well, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't really know what Shadow Fury can do. Oh, looks like he is going to resolve one. Or did he resolve two? Oh, okay, there we go. Resolves two. I'm still looking for an opening on Steam Cannon. Um, I don't know if Matex is going to give it to him. So, loses the flinch, takes a life, reshuffles. Let's see what he opts for here. Um, could opt to clear off a lot of the freeze. Could opt for some attacks. Wind run's not particularly useful, so I can see that getting discarded to remove some freeze tokens. Um, Beast style claw is in, in a super good position either. Hmm. I think I'm going to spend this week um, studying Hanoka, hmm. seeing how all these cards work. I do not know what any of those cards do. Um, so yep, it's looking like he's going to clear off a lot of the freeze. Um, if he's really ah, you're going to meet Matex sooner. Yeah, if Matex wins this, I'll be playing him. Hmm. Um. All right, gonna do a little bit of a hybrid. Yep, he plays around Steam Cannon here. Um, pretty expected. Um, well done here for Matex. I'm um, getting the odd shuffle. Wait, what? what is the range for the Steam Cannon? And... All right, the range for Steam Cannon is um. Two to eight, isn't it? Ah, see. Yeah, two to eight. So actually, he wouldn't have been able to play it this turn anyway. No. Okay, yeah, he's going to go for a bleed. Wait, what? Okay, so he chooses not to reshuffle. So this is why you want to keep one card in hand, so you don't have to be put in this awkward situation. He's going to try to blade dance for two, two. Um, Matex thinking about it. I think you should just take this to Aura. Does he have a reaction he can use? He does? Oh, he's going to use this one. So he still takes the 2-2, two -two, but then he's going to move back to ah, R1. Ah, that's pretty neat move, because the attack now is doesn't... Oh, he's going things. to R4, actually. Huh? I, I think the attack is not connection. Well, not yeah, the, the, the attack does connect, and then he moves mm. afterwards. No, 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 no because... Uh, after it resolves, after the the reaction is resolved, before the attack is uh, connected. Yeah, but the, but the reaction the reaction says after your opponent attacks resolves, you perform neither or both. So it's after the oh, attack is no, hit. No, I'm talking about the cyclone blade, the cyclone oh. blade force. If a reaction is made to this attack after it's it resolves, you yeah. do the move backward to or move forward to. Yeah, so he Jeez. triggered it, and then he moved back to R3, right? Ah. So he plays the 2-2, two, two. reaction was made, the reaction doesn't really do anything at that moment in time, and then um, after reaction was made, he backed up to R4, and then because he took the hit, he moves to R3, because an attack was made. Oh, no, no, oh. what I mean is, uh, when he played the Cyclone Blade, mm -hmm. uh, and then that and Rebrid react, Cyclone Blade, move the distance to the R4. Mm -hmm. Since the distance now is R4, Cyclone Blade attacks does not connect. Because that happened bef uh, after the reaction resolved. 
the forced effect ya yeah. so you're saying the attack doesn't go through first yeah that's ah. what i believe uh let me check the faq for a bit Seems, seems mix, I feel like that makes the card pretty weak in my opinion. Well, actually, wait, let me look at something. Can it go either way? Oh, it can go either way, so it actually yeah. does make the attack kind of work. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of long gone. I mean, hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, it won't matter. But like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I can. He's canceling this. The as well, in the Japanese FAQ. Yeah, this is getting canceled. It's unfortunate for um, Shadow Fury because it's like his one big attack. Yeah, this is really bad now. Yeah, pretty strong card, Tom of Blossoms. He still hasn't transformed. Why? Uh, wait, wait. But he, can he use Steam Cannon? Because he doesn't have any artificial to combust, right? Oh. Yeah. It's combust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we having a yep. All right, that was fun. Yep. Oh, you're uh, right. <laughs> uh, Matex takes it over Shadow Fury in a commanding um, set right there. Um, good. Uh, really? so, yeah, it was pretty commanding. Uh, it would have been even more commanding, I think, if the blade, the cyclone blade, didn't connect as well. So, yeah, um, I would say the more experienced player takes it. So, yeah, good showing from both players, though.